Hi, I'm Joel Frankie with Charged Magazine. We're here at the International Battery Seminar in Orlando. And I'm here with Eric Gaber from Gore. Nice to meet you, Eric. Hey, how are you doing, Joel? So why are you at the battery show this year, Eric? Yeah, so um, we're delighted to be here. This is the, uh, the first year that we've had a display at the show. We've, uh, we've been attending the show now for about five years. Um, and given all the activity that we've had in this space, we really just wanted to take the opportunity to raise awareness for uh, a bunch of our existing products that are on display here today, uh, as well as some developmental capabilities that, um, that we're engaged in that are relevant to the industry. Um, so, you know, our goal is to, um, with some of our materials, products, and capabilities, advance reliability and safety of, of battery systems. Um, so we've been uh, a premier supplier of venting products to uh, the automotive industry for many, many years, um, and also protective vents into electronic enclosures for a variety of applications that are outdoors in harsh environments. And we see these products uh, also being ideally suited to battery systems, um, protecting uh, packs from ingress of, of water and dust particles, uh, pressure equalizing in the event of pressure differentials that occur due to temperature and uh, altitude changes uh, that have the effects of damaging seals in, in these enclosures. Uh, so these are all very relevant to battery packs, uh, particularly in EVs and, uh, and stationary storage. Okay. Um, but we also have uh, some development work that's going on in uh, consumer electronics um, at the cell level. So I, I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, as it relates to safety, um, we have uh, several products that are in development. Nothing is commercial just yet, but uh, we're making great progress. Uh, in particular, we're developing a, a very unique solution uh, to enable evacuation of hot gases from battery packs, both in EVs and residential storage, where uh, when a cell goes into thermal runaway, uh, this is a means to qu very quickly evacuate those hot gases and minimize the hazardous effects of a thermal runaway. Okay. And in addition to that, we're developing some uh, super thin, highly insulative materials that can be used to separate cells from one another uh, to prevent, in, in the event of a thermal runaway, to prevent propagation of a thermal runaway from one cell to another. Okay. Um, so we're really excited about that and its application in both of these markets. And then another very interesting product uh, is uh, in development to um, expel gases from both pouch and prismatic cells. Uh, as gases naturally form within the cells, they build up pressure. Uh, and in some cases, in, in the case of pouch cells, they will balloon to uh, a very large state. And that's obviously very concerning. It could be sure. both a hazardous event and uh, a perception problem for mm -hmm. the makers of the equipment. So uh, we're developing a product that will enable that gas to be released from the cell uh, without letting harmful levels of moisture in that will cause other problems within okay. the cell. Right so, there. Yeah, so we have some some really exciting stuff going on. Uh, we're delighted to be here. It's been a great show for us. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're excited that, you know, where this is, is likely to take us. Great. So, great. Yeah. So our viewers at home, how would they find out more information about this? Yeah, item? go online, gore.com. Uh, we have a lot of information on the website. Um, and um, or, or reach out to me or other members uh, here at the show. Uh, happy to connect you with, uh, with the right people. Thank you, Eric. Great. Thank you. Yeah. All right.